Here's something else you can do with a fridge magnet. You can catch fish with it. It's just a magnet and it's tied onto a shoelace all the way through to this cardboard tube fishing rod. All the bears are having a little sleep after their picnic. They ate a lot of food. But Big Ted has come down to the river with me. He's going to try to help me catch some fish. So how about we cast out Big Ted? Hold on to the rod. Here we go. Gee, we're not catching much, are we? Hope we've used the right bait. What do you think, Big Ted? Yep. Oh, I can feel something. I think we've caught something. Ted, quick, pull it in. Don't jerk it too hard. We don't want to lose it. Woohoo! It's a whopper. Look at that. It's a milkfish. Can you see it? A milk carton. And look, it's got big paper clips stuck onto the end hooked through the nose and that means it sticks onto the magnet, see? Whee, we might take that off and I'll put it in the bucket so we can take that fish home for our dinner. Okay, try again. I'm sure there's more fish out there. Got the line, Big Ted. Off we go. Kaplunk. Oh, did you feel something? <laughs> Feels like a huge fish. Oh, Tug, quick, pull it in. Pull it in. <laughs> pull it in, Ted. Oh, no, we've lost it. Quick, cast out again. Oh, I can see it. Oh, it's just below the surface of the water. Here it comes. Oh, that's a bit little, isn't it? Very little fish. Hmm, I think we'll have to throw that one back. Take it off. Kadunk. Okay, let's try again. Better luck this time, Big Ted. Kaplunk! Uh oh, this one feels really big. I've got a feeling about this one. Come on, pull it in slowly. Oh, that's the way. Don't pull it too hard. It feels so big. It might come off. We don't want to lose it. Oh, wow! Look at this. This is a huge, humongous milk eel. It's so big. Oh, I wish John was here to see this. He would love this. He'd be so impressed with our fishing. Well, let's put it in the bucket so we can take it home for dinner. There it goes. Well, Big Ted, I think we've got enough fish for dinner now. Let's see, what's the time? Oh, six o'clock. It's time to pack up the bears from their picnic and take them home. John! John! He's asleep over there, the lazy son. So I've been doing all that fishing and he was doing nothing. John, it's packing up time. John, it's time to go home. It's only a bear, you know. Pardon? Oh, smell this, smell this. Oh, my milk eel broke. What is, what is that? I a caught jetty. this. I caught this all by myself with Big Ted's help. You know what it is? It's a milk eel. It's a milk eel? Yeah. Have you ever seen a milk eel before? Now and again. <laughs> Come on. You can't lie there all night. It's time to pack up and go home. If you go down in the woods today, you'd better not go alone. If you go down in the woods today, it's safer to stay at home. Every bear that ever there was will gather there for certain Because today's the day the teddy bears have their picnic See them gaily gad about They love to play and shout They never have any cares At six o'clock their mummies and daddies will take them home to bed Because they're tired little teddy bears At six o'clock their mummies and daddies will take them home to bed Because they're tired little teddy bears Bears. Can you carry that? Come on, off we go. At six o'clock, their mummies and daddies will take Hurry them up. home to bed. Come on, I've got to get home. Don't rush, Time it's to a go. lovely day. Been doing some fishing. Bye. Mm. Bye. Bye. May never paint again. We got everything? We didn't leave any rubbish? Oh, what? Uh.